Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts in Lawn Data Science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on lead code regarding all the pairs with maximum number of common followers and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium and this question has been asked in Instagram interviews over the past couple of years. Also, some of you ask regarding the SQL schema. So this is how the SQL schema looks like. I will copy paste this in the description box below if you guys want to check it out. Okay, let's jump right in. We are given a table called relations with two different columns, user ID, follower ID. The combined columns user ID and follower ID is the primary key for this table. Each row of this table indicates that the user with ID follower ID is following the user with ID user ID. We are asked to write a SQL query to find all the pairs of users with the maximum number of common followers. In other words, if the maximum number of common followers between any two users is max common, then you have to return all the pairs of users that have max common, common followers. The results table should contain the pairs user ID, user one ID and user two ID, where user one ID is less than user two ID. The order of the result does not matter. Okay, let's go through this example, right? So here we have different users and their followers. So if you look at it, right? So uh, three is a common follower of one, two and seven, right? So one, two has one common follower, one, seven has another common follower and two, seven also have one common follower, right? Similarly, if you look at one, two and seven, uh, they also have another common follower four. So basically all these combinations, right? So one, two, one, seven and two, seven, they all have two common followers, right? Up till now. Now one and seven also have another common follower five. So if you look at it, the maximum number of common followers is between one and seven, right? And that is what we have in the output. So to do this, what we can do is we can do a self join of this relations table on itself, you know, and make sure since the question says that, you know, in the output, you only need to have user one ID and user two ID where user one ID is less than user two ID. And also to avoid duplicates, what we can do is we can, you know, left join relations table R1 with relations table R2 saying that, okay, so r1 dot user id is less than r2 dot user id and the follower id from both these is same so basically what will this do is from the relations table which is aliased as r1 right so it will take okay so user id is one and then for the next table right so imagine the same table right here right so it will say okay one is not less than one right so it will go to the next one so one is less than two and the follower are same as well right so follower id from r1 is equal to follower id uh, from r2 then it will append that rows right similarly it will go and see okay one is also less than seven right and follower id is same right so it will have another row of one and seven and the common follower three right so that is what we can do to find out those combinations right so what i'm saying is from this table called relations right aliased as r1 let's self join this right so let's left join relations a list as r2 on r1 dot user id is less than r2 dot user id and we discussed why we are doing this for two reasons here the question says this this thing and also to avoid any duplications right because if you don't do this right so if you start just by joining where follower id from r1 is equal to follower id from r2 it will look at okay so how many combinations it will start getting so okay three it will say okay three one two three match for this again three match for this again three match but if you look at user id from relations table r1 and relations table r2 one and one are not a pair right so that does not make any sense to keep right so that is why doing this will make sure that we have what we need in the output right and we also need to make sure that the followers are same right so there should be common followers so r1 dot follower id is equal to r2 dot follower id right uh, let me return all this right let's see what we are getting so so if you look at it, right, so you have user on uh, user ID, follower ID, user ID, follower ID, the names we will, you know, change in a bit. But if you look at it, right, so what I was saying is, so one, three, it will go and see, okay, one is less than two, right, and follower ID from both these are same as well. So it will append. So, okay, one, three, and then two, three, right. 
uh, then it will again do the same thing for seven, right? So one is less than seven. So, okay, one, three, and then seven, three. So if you look at it, we have all the combinations, right? So user ID one, seven, it has basically how many followers? We should have three followers, right? Three different followers. So one, seven, common follower, three, one, seven, common follower, four, one, seven, common follower, five, right? So if you look at it, like we have the output. So what we can do is let's you know, rename this so that, you know, we have stuff uh, in the way that we want. So R1 dot user ID, let's alias this as what we have in the output, right? So, so that like once we group by after this, then like we don't need to rename it again. So we can write user one ID and you don't need like follower ID column. There are two. So we only need this one, uh, right? So we can ignore this column. So, and then we can write R2 dot user id right r2 dot user id as user 2 id right and then we can have r2 dot follower id right so once we have this then what we can do is we can save this in a common table expression so with cte as and then this entire thing goes into parentheses right so once we have this, then what we can do is we can, you know, group by, okay. So group by this, this column, right? So user, so now this will be uh, renamed as user one ID. So this is user one ID. This is user two ID, and this is the follower ID. So we can group by user one ID and user two ID and count the distinct follower IDs. So it is going to basically give you the maximum number of common followers, right? In, in any pair. So what we can do is from this common table expression, let's group by right let's group by user one id then user two id right and then let's return user one id user two id and count of distinct right count of distinct follower id and let's alias this as max common right let me run this let's see what we are getting so if you look at it, right, so you have user ID one, two, uh, max common, there's maximum number of common followers, two, three, zero, and these are nulls, right? So we can ignore all this because they are, and we're not making any pair. So what you can do is you can either, you know, have that where clause here only that, you know, after you join wherever your user two ID is basically null, then you don't include those rows right so you can do that like i have just kept it like just for the sake of understanding so now here once we have this then what we can do is we need to find out the maximum right so and return the user one id and user two id so what we can do is we can save this again in another common table expression so with cte2 as and then again this entire thing goes into parentheses right so let, let me just drag it down. Okay. So again, uh, this entire thing goes into parentheses, right? And then what we can do is from this common table expression two, right? We are only going to keep those rows where your max common is equal to the maximum number of col common followers, right? So select max of max common from common table expression two and for those cases you need to return user one id and user two id okay so this looks good let me go ahead and run this to see what happens okay so this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so this passes all the test cases and this is how we do it again not a very difficult question all we had to do was you know find out those combinations of users and their common followers and we use this uh, you know self join basically to get that and once we had that then we found out the you know maximum common number of followers for each combination and then once we had that, then we only made sure that we are only going to return those user ID combinations where the maximum number of common followers are basically the maximum, right? So this is how we do it. Let me know if there is a better way or a more efficient way to solve this question. Let the solution be in the comment section below. And until then, I will see you guys in the next video.